Hi guys and welcome back to Irish Wilds. In this episode, myself and Rob are going over to Ross's Point in Sligo. And if the fishing there is fairly bad or just really slow, we'll move over to another splash that Rob picked out. And that would be an Ennis Crone. And hopefully the fishing there will be really good. Now, um, the last two videos, if you've been following us up to this point, I've had to actually put down, uh, well, close down two videos because we inadvertently, well, we inadvertently uh, promoted really bad fishing practices. Now, here in Irish Wilds, everything that we do in terms of fishing is always catch and release, and we try and make sure that the fish that we catch are in good health before, and we, we handle them well before we actually release them. So it's everything we normally do is catch and release. But as I said, um, in the, the last two videos, we promoted some really bad fishing practices, so I had to take them down. Um, because again, we don't want to promote that here at Irish Wilds and we always strive to make sure that we have really good fishing practices. Now for anybody that's actually pike fishing out, uh, just pike fishing in general, here in Ireland um, there is uh, a bag limit and a, a catch limit in size. So there's a bag limit and size limit. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's 50 centimeters or above, you have to release them. And they have to be within the regions of 1.6 kilograms to 6.6 kilograms. I'm not really sure about that. Um, as we've mentioned a few times here in our videos that we are not experts in the field of fishing or bushcraft. So again, when we handle fish, when we say that we need gloves or anything like that, this is just our opinion and not necessarily something that you need to do. And furthermore, um, I'll make sure to put down in the descriptions below um, the, the fishing bylaws. And don't do what we did, which was take local, local word of mouth to be, you know, gold. Um, always stick by the bylaws here in Ireland, and that way everybody will be happy. And on a brighter note, um, we've reached over 100 subscribers on our channel, which is great. Thank you guys for keep continuing and supporting us. Um, and yeah, I know that this video has taken a long time for it to be released, but I do apologize for that. There's been a lot of things happening in my personal life and I haven't been able to release as many videos as possible. But this new year, hopefully I'll try and get as many videos out to you guys as quickly as possible, hopefully every single week. But that being said, I know the quality of the videos uh, in the next concession will be very low. And I do apologize for that, but I am doing everything on my phone to try it out. But I'll try and make them as scenic as possible, if I can. And on a brighter note as well, because we've reached 100 uh, subscribers here on our channel, it is going to be a milestone for us and uh, to show our appreciation, I'm going to be doing a little giveaway and it's going to be specific to our channel. So it could be something to do with fishing or something to do with bushcraft. I'm not sure yet, it's coming out of my pocket. So again, it is something that um, I'll have to do towards the end of January, but do stick around for that. By the way, I waffled on too long now, so I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, like, share, subscribe. See you in a bit. Alright, so myself and Rob are actually at Ro Ross's Point. That's Ross's right. Point. Oyster Island in front of us. Yeah. Oh. We've got our rods out. No bites yet. Not sure if you can see that. Bots out, they're bots out. It's a lovely evening though. Well, it's not a lovely evening, it's only one o'clock. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Plenty of time to catch fish today. So we're starting to cook up some some lunch. Got some bacon, got some bread there, got some cookies, and we've got some pot noodles as well. I'm not sure if you can see any of that, but yeah, we've got some pot noodles. So we're gonna boil up some well water. Prepared. <laughs> we're well prepared this time. The first time that I came up here, I was underprepared and didn't have any weight to hooks. So it's actually nice to get out here when you're fully stocked up. So 
bass fishing today. Woo! Whoa. Rob, careful there. <laughs> it's a doggo. Very decent doggo. So we're gonna let it, this one go. So I'm just gonna throw her in. Here we go. So we're at Rossley Castle. We decided to waste two hours in the fishing. We're going to do this. <laughs> Apparently, watch out for falling rocks. Chimney here. I think that's what this is. Is there sheep's wool right there? <laughs> A sheep was there. <laughs> the sheep's wool. <laughs> Somehow a sheep got to the second story in this place. <laughs> well, you could probably climb up there. Oh, you could, yeah. <laughs> Don't see a sheep do. <laughs> it's kind of cold though. It's just literally a tower. Well, that's it. This is Ross Lee Castle. <laughs> uh, whatever. Oh, there is an actual pier there. <laughs> See? Well, look at the size of those waves, like. <laughs> it's really, really wavy. Oh man. Loads of white water, loads of waves going on over there. Castle in the background, it's fairly cool. Like, look at that lift there, like. Yeah. So choppy though. Yeah. yeah. What's the size of those waves? On a surf, this is definitely where to come. All right, um, I'm gonna step away from there. <laughs> That's, that's nothing compared to Oh, almost fell over.
Okay, so we literally changed our spot. Um, where are we? <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you now. One second, one second, one second. Sorry. But anyway, um, while he's trying to figure out where the hell we are. Hey, literally the first cast and we got ourselves a nice little whiting. It's a nice little size. Um, it's about, yay, big. It's, a, it's actually a really good size. It's the size of this thing. Yeah, no, it's really good and that was a really high yeah. piece. Squid. Yeah, squid. The squid is working. Good job. So, so yeah. where are we? <laughs> uh, I left my phone in the car, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to check that. It, in it, in a skewer or something. Um, yeah. I'll tell you the next clip anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we literally just set up and we're just waiting for bites now. But as you can see, it's. That's a good sign, literally. I had that cast out maybe, maybe 60 seconds and I got a bite on it. Yeah, so that's a really good sign. Anyway, hopefully the thing happens for me as well and I get another, we get another bite. So we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Up a doggo. It's a fairly good size one. Yeah, so if I put my foot next to him, it might be easier for. Oh, okay, look, I'm gonna let him go, take a photo of him, and then a video to release. Anyone, right. anyone who's not aware Releasing. of this channel as well. Uh, uh, there, we go. there we go. There we go. And dog away. Dog just vanished. Second, like. second fish we caught. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Rob thinks he's on a fish. We're not really sure, so I'm gonna have a look. Oh, it's a crab. You've been cutting crabs all day today. <laughs> so, uh, he didn't manage to steal this on me, so I'm gonna jerk back out. Yeah. There's a crab. Get him before he escapes. <laughs> good job, man. Crabs are good bait, by the way, anyone who's not aware. Very good bait. <laughs> oh, look, he's running away. He's making a scurry for it. He's on another <laughs> one. I'm not sure what he's got this time. It's not even a few seconds later, but I think it's a whiting. Yeah. Whiting. Another whiting. Yeah, so definitely glad we moved over to this spot. <laughs> uh, you still don't know where it is. And uh, it's grown. And it's grown. And it's grown. It's hard to spell. It's hard to tell you because actually on the map it's one name and all the signposts coming into this place were different. So <laughs> don't know which one to tell you. Probably the one that's on the signpost. So <laughs> and in a scrone. By the way, here's the whiting they got. Another whiting. Through nice the eye. colouring on him. Through the eye. Through the eye, so he's probably going to die. By the way, good job. We'll continue fishing. Hopefully I've got another bite. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I've got a little bit of butter. I'm going to put it into here and cook some sausages. While the biting and whiting are biting. Yeah, so anyway, I better do this before the pan goes on fire. Right, so um, in the midst of me trying to cook some food, I caught myself another dog. He's over here, pulled him in. It's a fairly good size again. That, uh, lesser spotted dogfish. And this one is female, so I better quickly let this one go and hook it. So yeah, so I've unhooked the fish. Well, the doggo. Daffy's doggo. Another one for the night. Yeah, and now we're gonna release him. Oh, uh, her. <laughs> go, go, go. One, two, three. In she goes. <laughs> and she just vanished. No and idea. <laughs> Hard for us to see them go back in the water yeah. in the dark. <laughs> anyway, back to the cooking. These are the day. Poor coddling. And Rob just lost his fish. Dogfish. Oh, was it a dog? dog fish. Nah. Feel it, the waves, the waves, the, it suddenly disappeared. Poor cuddling. <laughs> Poor cuddling, all right. We're about a bad camera here. It's, it doesn't want to focus. But you can see that that's a dog. <laughs> ah? okay. um, this one is very, very tired and has decided to go into like a really, like into a little ball. But this is what dogfish do when they get caught. Really weird. Anyway, I'm gonna throw, throw him back in. Ooh. 
to go. Rob got an avoiding. It's a fairly good one. Yeah. Good job, man. Good job. Rob has finally maybe got his first dogfish. Man, it's not my first dogfish, but the first one here. Yeah. Uh, no. It wasn't. It's. What, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, for cuddling and hooked through the tail. Yeah. Weird. This is a really weird looking one as well. I don't know, it's just the way the light was. Okay, well, uh, yeah, let's, let's de hook this and get it back in the water. How did that even happen? <laughs> For the tail. <laughs> oh man, he's like badly hooked as well. Oh, there he goes. And he's on the ground. He should be okay. Right. <laughs> the rod does like rescue the fish, he may be okay. Right. Well, we'll release him anyway. Little guy. He is. Little hole through his tail, but that should be not, uh, nothing for him. Hopefully. Hopefully. He'll survive. And. Can't really see him. It's a twofer! Double whiting! <laughs> uh, and that was on Logworm. Oh well, there we go. The logworm is uh, not even two minutes, not even ten seconds later, I, want, I literally just threw it out and I got myself another full cuddling. Uh, look at him go. Uh, right, I'm gonna unhook this guy and let him go. Nice it's a fairly, yeah, it's fairly chunky. Look at him go. I'm gonna take a photo of him and then. Okay, so Rob caught something. He got a double as well. <laughs> got a double, double crabs. Double crab. The one on the bottom is just holding on, the one on the top is actually hooked. Yeah, and he's lost his, uh, he's it's lost a claw. As you can see, he's pirouetting around, and this one is still trying to uh, He's just down. holding on, being like, I want that squid to give it to me. <laughs> 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 Look at him, he's literally eating it. Yeah. <laughs> Greedy little guys, but this one's a nice little crab. That one, yeah. That mm -hmm. one's properly hooked, though. Yeah. Probably will get him off without taking that later on, so... Oh! Oh, he came off! Oh, no! <laughs> that oh. was a dog! Oh. Asshole! <laughs> oh. oh, that's sickening. Oh, well. There we go. <laughs> that was the only dog that you would have caught today, I think. <laughs> Yeah, Rob got his first dog of the night, and it's a fucking beast. Yeah, let's get this fella. Woo! It's a big one. It's a big one. He's been eating. Look, belly is really full. Belly is really full. All pregnant, one of the two. But check that out. Yeah, probably pregnant by the looks of it. It's a really big one. Stop that. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a pregnant one, but yeah, look at that. We'll get this guy unhooked now. Yeah, and then let her let her back out. Hey, I'm gonna do the release. Oh, there you go. All right. So guys, my first dogfish of the night. This guy's now trying to grind me up. These guys will scratch you up with their rough skin. Yeah. But again, this quite probably is a female. Yeah, and uh, it's probably pregnant, so. So we yeah, we're gonna. Go. Um, I might actually walk her down the steps. I don't know how sweet they are. Yeah. Turn the light down there for a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could probably make that. There's a banister right next to you. Yeah. So if you hold the tail and then walk it down. Won't be able to get it the whole way down because the rock will get sticky. Something like this one over. Yeah. It's a smaller drop, so. Yeah. You feeling? Yeah. Right, first dog of the night for me anyway. Going in. Hello. See you. Sw swim off, grand. See you. Yeah. That way now. 
first dog of the night. Hey. <laughs> Good job. After all the crap. Hey guys, um, thank you very much for watching that video and as I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video there will be a giveaway towards the end of the month and yeah don't expect too much but it is going to be something very specific to the actual channel so it will be something to do with bushcraft or something to do with fishing I'm not sure yet but either way do keep an eye out for that because it will be worthwhile and it will be a little small appreciation for myself to you guys Okay, so thank you again, and uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and if you haven't already, hit that notification button, so there's no pressure on our side as always, and we'll see you next time. Bye!